guys and welcome back to my channel um i'm here to do the oh fuck i already forgot i need to check my phone i'm sorry i'm having some brain fog <laughs> um but yeah i've been wanting to kind of jump on the tag train for a while now but i just i don't know for some reason, you know how it is, sometimes you feel like you got nothing to kind of bring to the table, I guess, and then not all the tags feel comfortable for somebody and whatever. And I've seen Meg, um, and now I forgot what her channel is called, um, shit. Um, I'm gonna link her video in the in the description box, so I don't have to remember right now. So it doesn't matter if you know Meg, you know Meg. <laughs> so I've seen Meg do this um, amazing tag, and I've been thinking of doing something of this sort for a while now, because I've just noticed that I have um, quite a few decks that I find to be either funny or kind of ridiculous or that I've purposefully bought in, because they are kind of funny or because they just aren't as serious, I guess. Um, so when I saw her do the stack, I was like, yes, this is the one that I've been waiting for. So it's the comical card stack, as you can see from the title. Um, and I believe that... Um, the one who has made this tag um, is Julie from Peekaboo Rose. Um, and so I went to her channel to watch hers. And I also watched um, the video that Candy Soul and Soil made. Um, and I've loved them both. Um, it's been hilarious and I love this tag. So I'm here to just show you my comical cards, mm, they're not going to be in any particular order. Um, they're not going to be something that everyone finds comical, obviously. But yeah, here we go. I'm going to start with this deck because I literally have, haven't have seen this deck anywhere. Um, I haven't seen anyone use this deck, um, and I, if I'm completely honest, I haven't used it that much myself since I got it. But when I got it, I got it exactly because it was kind of cheeky, funny. So it's called The Birth of Freedom Tarot by Taroko Studio. I don't know if you can see. Um, and... To be honest, I haven't really um, dove into, um, oh, so it's, uh, that consists of illustrations based on Norman Rockwell's artworks. I have no fucking clue who that is, but I really, it explains everything in the book. But I really like the cheekiness of the art. This is the back. And there's just a lot of people in this deck who seem kind of funny and comical to me. Um, I wasn't as organized as Julie or as Candy were by picking out their specific cards from each deck beforehand. I'm just gonna wing it as usual. Um, but come on, like, this is the Three of Cups. They're, like, obviously <laughs> gossiping. This is a chariot, um, which is super cute. Five of Cups. It seems like he obviously he stepped on her on her foot as they were dancing. So you can see what I'm trying to say with this deck. Some of them were super sweet, like this King of Cups and his dog. Um, but yeah, they have this cheekiness that the um, Housewife Sero has a little bit. Um, like, a little bit like that, but not as extreme. Um, look at this. Nine of Wands. This child is obviously trying to scare this old man with his Halloween costume and 
the old man is pretending to be scared. So freaking cute. Um, there's one that I'm trying to find. This is also kind of weird. But also, obviously, the Christmas morning. Mm, yeah, but like, come on. These are, these are freaking funny. Although this Five of Pentacles is really kind of sad, but... There are some cards that are just funny. Look at this Two of Cups. <laughs> she looks so non-amused. She's like, I don't even know what I why I came here to this date. Like, this is terrible, obviously. And my dad is gonna, like, ground me for the rest of the year. Because I've sneaked out. Sneak, sneaked out. Look at this Hierophant. I don't know, it's just freaking hilarious though. And this Ten of Swords, I think this dog stole something from this from this kid. I think his clothes or whatever, his pants. Hmm. She's not she's not able to go to the dance because she's sick. <laughs> like come on, this is so freaking hilarious. I just can't. I just can't. It's just fucking hilarious. So I'm not gonna flip through the whole deck, but you get the you get the the gist of it. So the card that I was trying to find, um, I hopefully don't get hung up on every card here. Um, but I'm trying to find the devil card. I think that's the one that made me really get this deck. Because I think this deck is super clever. Oh no, this is the one, this is the one. It's the Four of Pentacles. And uh, she's obviously buying the chicken from this butcher dude. And he's like, they both have their fingers on the scale and she's like trying to tip it up. Like to make it lighter, obviously to get the chicken cheaper. And he's like trying to push it down. So yeah. I don't know. It's just a funny deck. I love it. So, moving on. I've already took way too long in this one deck. Um, but if you want me to do a flip through of this deck, let me know. I can do it. No problem. Um, okay, let's continue with a more... Mm, not gonna go for the dark deck immediately, but I'm gonna go into the Halloween deck and this one has a little bit of a similar vibe to that one It's called tricks and treats Oracle created by Barb st. John um, I'm not sh I don't think this is available still so I'm sorry for kind of Taunting you with a deck that's out of print um, I think I've snatched the last one and I got it discounted because the box was supposedly damaged but i don't think it was but okay um this is the back and this is obviously sorry about the glare i'm still kind of trying to figure out how to oh it's not from this slide okay still trying to figure out how to you know do this whole thing um this is the back and it's it's the cheesiest halloween deck i've ever seen um and I don't know, it's just super fun. It's fun and funny as well at the same time. Um, sorry, I'm trying to like hold this deck in a way that there's as least glare as, as possible. Mm. But yeah, like come on, all of these animals and weird like faces in the moons and, and whatnot. I don't know, just fucking hilarious. And in, the, in these pumpkins. There's a cat that's flying away in this pumpkin balloon. Like, how is this not comical? And there's like a celebration of witches. The moon is like smiling in the back. The cat is all messed up and whatnot. I don't know. Sorry about the glare again. Like, look at this. This is supposed to be the guide for the kids and they look like, nah. We really don't want to go with you, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's just super cheesy and I love it. I love it. What is this kid doing with the knife? 
like obviously carving pumpkins, but again, like kind of freaky. <laughs> Yeah, they're stealing pumpkins. <laughs> but yeah, I just love it. Super cheesy. Look at these faces. Come on, what the fuck? Yeah, so this is the Tricks and Treats Oracle. Um, so then the next one that I'm going to show is maybe going to be something that's unexpected. And this is the Deviant Moon Tarot. Um, this used to be one of the more, like, one of the most dark decks that I owned. I own darker decks now. <laughs> but um, I still love the freaking format of this deck. It's, I love that it's slimmer. Um... But, yeah, this deck was always, like, a dark deck to me. But at the same time, it was always freaking funny and ridiculous. Like, what the fuck is this, okay? Like, Patrick Valenza just does funny artwork to me. Um, it's grotesque, but it's, I don't know, it's freaking hilarious. Like, come on, this, this babe has so many boobs. And then she has, like, these chicken leg boots. I don't even know what the hell is going on. And this flower that grows God knows from where, you know. <sighs> Some of them are pretty dark, but also what's up with this like devil bull that he's stabbing with the staff? Like, <laughs> and with the chicken boot legs, what the hell? I don't know, just funny. And the feet, like, and the, and the hands, like, I don't know, crab hands, I don't know. This person is like, fuck that drink, I don't want it. I don't even want it. Like, I had to buy it myself, but I don't even want it now. This dude, like, jumping happily in this water that's obviously infested with piranhas or something. Because they're biting his legs off, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just... I don't know. Does anyone else find this deck hilarious? It's just freaking funny to me. Like, what is this dude? Is this dude, like, like a guardian angel or whatever is this dude? Like, biting her by the neck. I don't know. And this cat. What the fuck is up with the cat? Is it dead or something? I don't know. Just... As... as, as Freaky and messed up as, as it is, it's also just hilarious. And like, come on, look at these butt cheeks. Come on, like, and the boobies, and I don't know. It's the Divya Moon Tarot, guys. Divya Moon Tarot. Um, I love this deck. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. Some of the cards and i have to mention this because i believe it was um a candy who yeah she she talked about a deck in her video um on the comical cards um uh and she showed the archetypes oracle deck and she said that's her spying deck and i immediately thought of the deviant moon because this is a deck that i use whenever i feel like somebody is up to something um, or if I feel like somebody's hiding something or trying to be deceitful, this is a deck that will spill all the tea, for me at least. So, <laughs> had to point that out. Um, the next deck that is also kind of spooky, I guess, and um, people wouldn't expect to see in a comical deck. Um, this is handmade because I've traded my mini version for the full-size version, and it's the Bohemian Gothic Tarot. I'm not sure what... Oh, it's a third edition, so there you go. Because I know some people are really keen on collecting all of them. I just wanted the full-size version. So this is a gorgeous Gothic deck, but the faces in these people, like in the people from the cards, are just... I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know. It just makes me giggle every single time. Like, I don't know. Some of them look like total creeps, like this dude. And I know it's on purpose, but it's still so funny. Come on, look at this nine of pentacles. This lady, like, what is that face expression? I don't even know. <laughs> and this baby looks like a grown up person. What the hell? This this girl in the back just looks bored as hell. She doesn't want to go wherever they, they're planning on going. And she's like fed up with this. She's like, come on. I gotta get ready with the baby and everything. Do I really need to go with you? And he's like, yes, we need to all go. Because we need to like portray the perfect family that we are. And we go everywhere together. I don't know. I can just see the stories. Just by the faces. And these like the children in this deck are like freaky as shit. I don't know. <laughs> what are these faces? They all look like they're dead inside. I don't know. And this random person in on the top. Fuck. I really need to do the um, who done it exercise with this deck. It would be freaking hilarious. Oh, she has a kitty in that um fan i don't know if you can see guys i'm still getting used to um filming with um my gopro so bear with me like even these wannabe like i don't know what they are like ghosts or zombies or ghost zombies or whatever they are they're just funny they're just funny she looks bored as hell she's like yeah whatever get over with get it over with <laughs> Uh, don't get me wrong, at the same time, they're freaking beautiful. I love this deck. I love the palette, the colors, the atmosphere, but also, I don't know, the faces are funny as fucking hell. I don't know. I just love it. Look at this dude. Would you take him, would you take him seriously if he came around at night to bite you in the neck? I don't know. But yeah, the stack. So, the Bohemian Gothic Tarot. <sighs> so, the next deck um, that I'm gonna show is also by Patrick Valenza. And it's probably one of the most hilarious decks that I own, uh, courtesy of my fiance. Um, getting this deck for me and it's the mildred Payne's oracle of black enchantment this deck is fucking hilarious like i don't know i don't know it's just fucking hilarious especially with you know experiencing this deck with my fiance his commentary is just hilarious um regardless of the deck most of the time um, because he just points out whatever's on the card, like, literally, and makes up a story, and it's freaking funny. Um, I'm still convincing him to participate in a video and just, like, go through some cards with me and, like, tell you guys what they represent. Um, we'll see about that. <clears throat> Comment down below if you want to see me do a video with him. <laughs> um... But, yeah, this deck is freaking hilarious. Um, I don't know. It's just more of the Patrick Valenza's juicy stuff. Like, you know, there's this random face in this devil's belly. And then this lady has no arms but has boobs that are on her vertically. I don't even know what the hell. And this one also has the vertical boobs. And I'm not sure if she's enjoying the tug by the hair or not this one looks like she's smirking or giggling she has no boobs whatsoever and just one horn i don't know this praying soul being taken away by the angels to the chapel or something i don't know <laughs> this one like i i think this one is there's a card that kind of portrays what happens before this card and i believe they've tried to um bring somebody to burn on the stake um and now they're like 
pleading for their lives and running away. This is gorgeous. Very Marseille style. <laughs> this little boy, like, obviously caught a fish with a weird ass face trying to take this fish and the mermaids are like no give it back that's my pet fish you know i don't know <laughs> also what is this like all of these can be super insightful but they can also be very comical oh my god this is the one that my that my fiance commented the f first and it was something along the lines of you know girls night out and she obviously got too drunk and had to be dragged back home like come on come on Shirley you've had enough to drink and you like took off your shirt and you're raw and nobody knows where it is and we have to drag your drunk ass home now <laughs> I don't know like I don't know this is just funny like look at the face on this moon it's like hmm I like that ass. I don't know. <laughs> also this, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Just keep looking at this and, and you'll see what I'm trying to say. This horse running away from the flying skulls while the person in the back is flipping them off and the horse having uh, his anus have a full-on face and spitting fire. Like... How is that not comical? So, yeah. Just freaking hilarious. I love this deck. Absolutely wonderful. So, that was the Mildred Payne's Oracle of Black Enchantment. Mm. Let me just put it back in the box. Um, okay, the next two, the last two, are going to be a bit more, more lighthearted. So, the office tarot, unofficial office tarot, gaze into your future with the Scranton branch. <laughs> so, if you know, you know. Um, this deck is done um, um, in theme of the office uh series i think you can watch it on netflix i believe and this is one of the series that me and my fiance just binge watch whenever we're feeling down um it's just a great show very comical very ridiculous and this deck is freaking amazing so if you've watched the series and if you like the series you're gonna know that this deck is made to be brilliant. So it has the back with the mug, with the Michael's mug, world's best boss. Um, and this deck is just funny because it makes me think of the series. It makes me think of, you know, all the scenes because all the cards have specific scenes depicted in, in them. And as I said, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Um, for like this, for example, this one is when. Fuck! What happened? Did he get like? I think he was rejected by Michael to fill a position of something. I'm not sure right now. Mm. And he was just sitting in his car, um, listening to super loud music and crying out loud. This is Dwight, of course. Um, and I don't know, I just, I just, I love these series and I find them to be super funny. And here's Michael. Dwight. <laughs> Pam. This is re a really well-made deck, so whoever made this deck has been a lover of the show. Ooh. Toby, the HR guy. Of course, he's the hermit. Mm. Shrew Farms, Ten of Pentacles. I love this for the Ten of Pentacles, it's so cute! Dwight, Mose, Angela, and, you know, their son, obviously. I love it. 
it's so cheesy, but you know, the show is a comedy series basically. Oh god. <laughs> you have to watch the show to know. Um um but yeah, just the whole the whole show is a lot of fun and making it into a deck, it's definitely going to be a comical deck. Mm, also, I love the style it's made in. Ah, oh, the devil. Yes. Mm. So, yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing comical just by itself. If you haven't watched the show, you probably won't even enjoy reading with this deck. But if you have and if you've loved it, then definitely comical, on point, really well made. The last one is the Food Fortunes. <laughs> so this deck is freaking hilarious. Um, and this is definitely one of those that I've that I've got just because I found it to be freaking hilarious. And I also like to challenge myself by, you know, trying to read with a deck that um, is quirky and different because I believe that it's about our intuition, not about which deck we're using. Um, so answering the ancient mystery of what's for dinner tonight is now as simple as turning over a few cards. And uh, yes, this deck is all about food. You get a little booklet, um, they're divided into, um, and this, this, this booklet itself is freaking hilarious. Look, greeting fellow eater. What you hold in your hand is a divination tool that has been helping the hungry tap into the limitless power of the universe for centuries. Though the exact date and location of the card's inception is a mystery, most scholars believe that they were developed sometime in the 15th century by Trappist chef monks living in the rocky hills of Rome. Legend has it that these cooks were, quite frankly, bored out of their minds, and with nothing to do but decide what to eat next, they constructed the sacred shuffable tome. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but the whole guidebook, there's not a lot of it. Oh god, this part though. Look at this. So soon after the deck was created, the Inquisition began its now infamous witch hunt, so the cooks divided the deck, spread out across the world, and hit, hit the cards to avoid being punished for heresy. Throughout the centuries, the cards were passed from one shadowed hand to the next, protected only by the members of culinary secret societies like the Cheese Masons, the Leguminati, Rice Templar, Order of Fries, and others. <laughs> I freaking love this. I freaking love this. And there's like this little like blessing in the end that says... As you go forth in hunger, carry with you this ancient blessing. May the chef always respect you, the server never neglect you, your napkin forever protect you, and the desserts always be buy one, get one free. <laughs> so, like, this, this is just freaking hilarious. Um, you even get, like, some, some spreads here. It's all about choosing, like, what you're going to be eating, and, and that's basically it. It's divided into Trump's. Um, like the major arcana. Um, so this is uh, the comestibles, which are the cornerstones of iconic cuisine. Um, then you have the mains, um, you have the sides, the sweets and the drinks, and that's it. There's no explanation of what the cards mean, but I freaking love them. This is the back. And come on, how is this? Not comical. The straight shooter. <laughs> the delicate one. And you have, um, if you don't know which, what's the food that's portrayed, you have the name of the, the dish in the guidebook, but that's it. You don't have any explanation. Mm, the aged one. <laughs> but um, I think there's a lot of you know, a lot happening in the cards themselves regarding, I mean, taking in, in, considering that this is just a food deck. Um, that, um, my camera died. So, as I was saying, this is um, still a good deck to read with. 
but freaking funny. Um, the mess. We all know why. <laughs> the white knight. The orange one. The stack. The squeeze. The forever golden. <laughs> Night of drinks. The pressed one. The many named. <laughs> and excuse me if there's any sounds, my cat is having a fit right now as well. The flame sriracha. Anyways, I'm not gonna go through the whole deck. Um, but yes, that's it. This is, these are my comical decks. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm looking forward to seeing more of your videos on comical decks and i'll see you in the next video many blessings